A.C. Onanen in the playoffs. Warren Fogle lines up for the Edmonton Oilers. He's coming off a game where he got his 20th goal in Edmonton's loss last night to Arizona. Three in his last two games. Adam Henrique wins the opening faceoff, and we're underway with the final game of the 23-24 regular season. Connor Brown is the other winger on this line. Nurse and Cece, who did not play last night, start game 82 in Denver. Cam McCarr works it across the line. Your starting lines brought to you by our friends at Scotiabank, believing there's a place for all Canadians in Canada's game. Here's McCarr, hard drive to the net. Didn't get a shot away against Stewart Skinner. Inside a one-timer, whistled off the post by Miko Ranson. In a win for the Avalanche on the road in March. Here's Casey Middlestead. He's been struggling lately, missed badly. On a shot off the rush, got it back, dishes off, Lekin and one timer! Nichushkin buries it. One nothing for Colorado. In their sixth game in nine days, you kind of expected that they were going to have to weather a storm. It's been a storm early on. A couple of chances early on. This is a beautiful passing play. Middlestad's first shot missed pretty wide, but they are able to corral this puck, kind of bring it back. And then it's just a little tap to Lekin in by Middlestat. And then that cross pass over to Nachushkin, who's ready for that one-timer. And he buries it on Stuart Skinner. A little out of the reach of Dylan Holloway. Oilers traveled from Arizona last night, beaten 5-2 in the last ever game for the Coyotes. Here's Zach Parisi. Duran somehow held that puck in the offensive zone. McKinnon gives it up, written in a one-timer, and that was sent wide by McCarr. McKinnon curled it back teams to Ranton it. He'll shoot and score. 2-0 Colorado. He had a couple good shifts. McKinnon, nice cross pass. The first one, Randon can't handle. It's the one-timer by McCarr. It sets everything up. Nice little play off the wall by McKinnon again. This time when Ranton it gets it, he Buys his time, waits, picks that short side, high corner, and buries it. Taves finds him, and then the release is Darnell Nurse goes down trying to take a pass. 24 and a half percent coming in. McKinnon in over the line with Durant. McCarr will move it across. Grants it. Ryan Nurse, CC, and Adam Henrik, the penalty killers. McKinnon one time and toward the net, and it was deflected home. The Chushkin, and there's the single season franchise record for Nate McKinnon. With the Avalanche, great possession entry by McKinnon, that great explosive speed and handling to get over the line. Once they set up in formation, moving around, look for that chance. That pass there was a risky one by the Chushkin, but he makes it work. And then the hard pass, shot almost. It's a shot pass from McKinnon down into Chushkin. We'll discuss how we feel about that, yeah, yeah. on the big screen here. Nate at McKinnon. Ball Arena, Nathan McKinnon getting recognized for now being the franchise leader for points in a season with 140. The all-time franchise leader in points in a season with 140. He always said if he could ever stay healthy, he would put up ridiculous numbers. Shot redirected home from the slot. I believe Cogliano might have tipped that home. 4 nothing for the Avs. Trying to take Cogliano out of the mix. We'll watch it right here come through a lot of bodies. I mean, that's a double carom. I think it goes off. Potentially Nurse in the high slot, CC in the low slot. It certainly bounces around a couple of times. You've got Duhame right in the eyes of Stuart Skinner. Look at this. I mean, it's going to the far left side of the net from Skinner's perspective. Taken away by Fogel. Driving in. Shooting and a save. Rebound chip just one. Fogel backhand wraparound lunging stop but I think it rolls off the end of the stick. Here's the first one, the second one. Maybe Taves gets a stick in there, and you can see. And he needs a bounce to go his way. Just one goal in his last 19 games. And he's hit a couple of bars in that sequence. Trent in a one-timer shorthanded. Kulak and Broberg defensively. Set in deep for Holloway. Now Kulak. Broberg, shot, score! Tipped home by Holloway from the slot. Dylan Holloway continues to shine since his recall from Bakersfield. He had three when he got recalled. He's had three since, Louis. Yeah, three and six games since being recalled. Nice shot. 
by Broberg as he looks up. Doesn't have to be a cannon, but he zips it through in the wrister. Stops this one, head comes up, he looks. Thank you very much. Sees two Oilers in front of the net and a great redirection on the backhand side by Holloway, who's in that bumper position. You've got a presence in front. And again, this is a team that has put some guys in the lineup that haven't played for a while, are excited to be back into the mix, play another NHL game down the stretch. Nurse a shot off the pads of Anna. As the game settled in for him, he started to use his skating ability. And There's a quick chance and a save made on McLeod. Onanen couldn't come up with a rebound. Here's that chance for Ryan McLeod. Good forecheck by here. Fogel to dig this one Skinner. out. Sliding down low was Nachushkin. McKinnon crosses. Rantman didn't get all he wanted on the one time. Necessarily the smoothest, but this is what happens when the puck changes direction. He gets over, he punches that one with the blocker off. Jonathan Duran tried to strike it down low instead of the slot. A car shot, glove save, rebound to Chushkin again. Denied in his bid for the hat trick. And last night in Arizona, he was touched for four goals on 23 shots on a Kind of a strange evening in Tempe with the emotional undercurrents of the team's last game. Cody Ceci rifles it back in for Edmonton. Taves with a turnover and a oh. shot that blistered off the bar. A little tap, middle stat for jumping over top. A good board work here by Fogel to come up with his puck. And then as soon as it pops to the forehand, boom, he doesn't dust it off, nothing. He just gets it to the net. We're going to see this beat on it, but Caleb Jones dropping middle step, fires, save picker, and then Kulak will be called for a penalty, tying up the stick. He's hungry, and he's come up here with a nice Trenton short side, stopped by picker, backhander deflected away to Corey Perry, hard rim up the boards. Manson holds it in briefly. Perry up through center. Slash back the other way. Trennan doesn't have the pull away speed. Does have 12 goals on the year. And now behind the defense, here comes Corey Perry. Shoots and denied by Eustace on and a big save head to head on Corey Perry. Who knows worm. something about scoring goals? The worm snuck in behind there, didn't he? KG Vector move. He looked up, felt the possession, and just kind of slipped in behind. Parisi redirected off the pads, and then Trennan is swinging a miss on the rebound. Might have had Picker there. Holloway, shot from distance, squeezed by Onanen, and he'll freeze it with 8.20 on the game clock. Deflected up ice by Ross Colton, too hard with that pass for Miles Wood. The gates icing against Vinny D'Arnais. Derek Ryan up the right-hand side, a big hit on Gagne by Sean Walker. Game free, centering pass, one-timer score, it's 5-1, and it's Zach Parisi with the finish from Colton. Pretty fitting for him to score a goal. He's been a, a great player in this league for a long time and has always had a nose around that net. Wants one last kick in the can to try and win a Stanley Cup. Good work down low here by Wood and a beautiful little spin backhand pass by Colt to find Parisi in that little tight space that he gets the shot away. So good at that. Always able to get that quick release away. And he finds Why not play him in the first round when you're fresh, you're healthy, you're ready to go? Maybe gives you your best opportunity to knock them off the top. That's the way I look at it anyway. But I think both are formidable opponents, and they'll have to be ready for either. 200 other people. <laughs> yes. We take more pictures in Arizona than anywhere. Loose puck battle for good work by Fogel. Again, create a chance. He has had a strong game, and then a power move in front of the backhander. That drifted wide. Eric Ryan out to Cody Cece, and now Darnell Nurse a shot stopped by Anna. Warren Fogel's appreciated the elevation, and now point blank, stone twice, three times. Ryan tonight still loose and slipped wide. Two pucks and recoveries for Edmonton on this shift sent in on a nice chance by Ryan. He follows it up with a jam. The Chushkin still looking for that hat trick. A risk to redirect it, and I think that's going to be. Well, no, I think it was batted in. Corey Perry gives way to Adam Henry. Back Andrew squeezed by Onanen after a moment's notice. The season closes with a 5-1 loss, but it does not take away from Edmonton's renaissance this year, morphing from a 30th place club 
at American Thanksgiving into a 49 victory juggernaut.